Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Battle series, The School of Hard Knocks. So throughout this episode, like every other, we'll be jumping on to the Pokemon Global Link Basketball Ladder, playing under the Championship Battle Rules, which is the equivalent set of the VGC 2018 season. 2018 season. One and nine. 19 season so. Hope you're all well, having a great day, and we are here today to kick off with this Kyogre the Veltal team and we are going to be saying goodbye to it after today's episode. Next episode we'll be jumping in with a brand new team and uh, like I said in the end of yesterday's episode, if you did miss it, go back and check that out there. Um, hopefully it would be really nice if we can finish with a couple of wins in today's episode because after such a strong start with the team, it's just went a bit downhill from there, hasn't it? And it hasn't panned out the way I've wanted it to. Um, but that's just how it goes sometimes. You just gotta have those. You got those bumps in the road. You have bad days, and you have good days. And it's all about bouncing back stronger from those bad days, isn't it? So, let's get into it. Let's have a good day, guys. And uh, as always, if you enjoy the videos, if you enjoy the content on the channel, do leave a like, subscribe to the channel, stay up to date with all of the content, VGC wise, that we have coming out uh, now and in the future. So we will pick some music. Let's go EV4. 16.52 rating, so disappointing, so disappointing. After we started the week, 1700 plus, looking to go 1800, and now it's just, it's just went, it's just not been that great this week, has it? But, like I've said all week after the losses and things like that, it's about what you take away from those losses and how you build on them. So we're gonna end on a positive today. I'm feeling positive going into these next two, and I think we can do some stuff. We've got a really interesting team coming up now for you guys in our first match today against Sav. He's playing a team of Groudon, Ferrothorn, Stack Attacker, Amoongus, Tyranitar, and Incineroar. So, got the Groudon there for the weather abuse, so we probably want to bring our Kyogre to counteract that. You've got some really strong Kyogre checks in there, though, with that Ferrothorn and the Amoongus that really love the Trick Room environment, which that Stack Attacker can bring. And then two Dark Types as well, which really put the stoppers on us bringing Drifflim uh, in this matchup uh, with the Tyranitar, another Weather Abuser, and the Incineroar there. So, ah, what do we want to do here? I think, I think, I think, I think. Um, hmm. We definitely need Incineroar. For sure, because we've got low kick for the Tyranitar, the stack attacker, it's going to be strong. It's going to be good against the Ferrothorn, really good against the Amoongus. Um, the Intimidate strong against the Incineroar and the Groudon, so it's going to be a big player here. It's going to be the one thing that we need to protect a lot. Um, we're going to need Kyogre as well, get it in a nice position. I think we got Incineroar maybe, and uh, or maybe Evelto. No, we got Incineroar and Lele lead, I think, because we need the Taunt on that stack attacker to stop the trick room for sure. And then probably Kyogre and Evelto in the back, I think, is not a bad option for us as well. Um, it's gonna be really tough. This is a nice like composition of a team. It's lots of tricky stuff, lots of really hard pairings and like one of the, the interesting things about this format is like like you can like double up on types and it doesn't really conflict so much in this format. It just kind of solidifies team's ability to perform as well as they need to. Um, we're going to see Stack Attacker, we're going to see Incineroar come up for my opponent. Now that Stack Attacker is four times weak to fighting, so we can throw um, a low kick into that slot. It will do heavy damage and taunt it as well. So I think that's what we probably want to do here. The Incineroar has got the option to knock off something, Flare Blitz something. You can see a double up into the Tapu Lele slot. Um, but we want to shut down that trick room um, and we really, we really, really need to. You've got to imagine that's probably the um, the mission of that stack attacker right now. I think my opponent is probably aware that we have got access to taunt here, so it's going to be something that they think about. But I mean, uh, we are sashed, so if they don't double up into that slot, then we are going to be kicking around for the next turn. Um, so it means we don't lose a Pokemon, at least lose a resource. A, a switching resource, I will say, right now. So let's see what my opponent decides to go for. The opposing Cinero can't go for a fake out because we've got the psychic terrain up, and uh, as we see, we get the taunt straight into that stack attacker. No mental hurt, and the low kick as well doing uh, nice. We're going to get the KO the next turn. Knock off into our Tabulele to break our sash, and are we going to see the double up? Oh, yeah, just go for the trick room, which is fine. Can't do much else either, so. 
I think this next turn what we'll do, we'll go a low kick into the stack attacker and um, I don't think we want to bring in Kyogre just yet. Um, I think maybe we want to... We could double into the stack attacker with a Moonblast as well in case it switches out. I would imagine it probably switches out. Um, so we could low kick and uh, do we Psy Shock and predict the Amoongus to come in on that slot? Yeah. The only problem is that there's no switches and that side shock, yes. Yeah, so if this is the Amoongus, let's grab it on. I mean, that's still not bad because the low kick and the side shock are still doing decent damage. Um, we'll probably lose Lele, but it doesn't matter because we lose Lele and get Kyogre in. So side shock doing actually not bad damage. Low kick probably, yeah, doing nothing. Knock off into lights and all. Okay. I mean, this isn't the worst thing at all. Because we can get Ivaltor in now. I think we want the immunity to press up his blades for sure. And um, we probably go Moon Blast into the Groudon. Yeah. Let's do that. The Incineroar probably goes for Flare Blitz into. Like, or Knock Off again. I don't know. Might switch out. No, no switches. I don't know if this is going to be enough to get the ground on. Depends how it's being built. But it is enough. Excellent. Flare Blitz into Lele. Yeah. Get rid of that taunt from our side. But then we've got the Incineroar to bring back in. We're not intimidated now either. And the Stack Attacker comes back in. We've got the ability to Law Kick it. So it's a lot, it's a lot easier to manage right now. And then we've still got the Kyogre in the back to come in and uh, deal with that Incineroar pretty handily, so... <laughs> stack attacker, stack attacker. I kind of want to put up bringing Kyogre in just yet as well, because if I feel like the Ferrothorn is what's in the back, all of the Amoongus, you kind of want to keep the sun up to just take advantage of that. Um, so, I think what I'm going to do is just file play into the Incineroar and go for that low kick into the stack attacker. Low kick really showing its worth in this match on Incineroar. Um, no switches, no ally switch or anything like that. Um, Incineroar taking minimal damage from that foul play because it's resisted. Low kick going to get rid of the trick room, get rid of the stack attacker, and uh, just make this a lot easier for us to deal with. Knock off coming off into our Evelto, get rid of our item, which makes sense. Uh, get rid of that Mago Berry from our Evelto, and we'll see what the last Pokemon is. Come on, be Ferrothorn. Be Ferrothorn. I mean, I don't mind that either. We're not intimidated, and we're in the sun, so Flare Blitz is gonna Flare Blitz is gonna do do the work, isn't it? Um, we'll just file play again. I mean, let's just be safe. Let's just file play the Amoongus and Flare Blitz as well. But we might see a forfeit come out here. Maybe my opponent might feel like if the Kyogre's not on the back, then they still have a chance. Let's see protect. The Flare Blitz probably come out into our Ivelto from the opposing Incineroar. It is intimidated though, um, so we should take it. Oh, you turn. Okay. And the Psychic Terrain disappears, but now we just do click these same buttons, and yeah, that's going to be enough. It's just, like, I just want to file play the Amoongus just because, in case it's sashed or something silly like Okaberry or something. Just want to make sure we're getting decent damage into it with the far play, which it is, and then putting it definitely in range for the flare blitz to take it down in the sun. And then, like I said, now we've got the ability just to switch in Kyogre and Scald, and the game is 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 100% over. I'm going to see a flare blitz this time into the belt, so let's see what the damage is like. It probably does a decent chunk, but no, no one near what I kind of like. The intimidate so strong there. Um, so we will switch the Veltal out, bring Kyogre, and we'll be able to wrap this one up with either that or a low kick. And my opponent just walked in. So very good game to my opponent, and uh, like I say, we're off to a nice start today, so that's really good. And if we can get one more win and one more game, that will make everything so complete for us this week to end on a high at least it's like um, it's not ever going to change how this week's went but taking away from this 
and looking at those games and those losses really work out uh, either A, whether it was team selection, B, whether it was how I played, a combination of those, or whether it was just stuff that we just don't have the best answers for. I mean, some matches you have to just take on the chin, like the Snatch Clefairy. If you haven't seen that, go back and check that out. That was Wednesday this week, I believe. Um, but that was just in insane. In a best of one format, you're going to get those sort of things that, that do crop up and really take you by surprise. So uh, you can't always beat yourself up too much about them. Let's go into Cross My Version 2 to end on. Let's do that. That should be our, our second battle Friday music, shouldn't it? And let's see if we can turn this turn this ship around and finish with a win. That would be ideal. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent either. Um, the, the battle spot has been pretty kind this evening with the opponents popping up here, there and everywhere. And we haven't needed to really research very often. So hopefully, I've said that now, should touch some wood. And um, hopefully that doesn't happen, but it might as well. Ah, oh, it's gonna, isn't it? We're gonna, we're gonna have to re. I like, I've jinxed it. I've just completely jinxed it now. It's gonna happen. It is gonna happen. But I'm excited anyway. And other news for our team next week, guys. We've got a new team we're gonna be bringing to the channel next week. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be very exciting. It's completely different to this from what we've played so far on the channel. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, hopefully, I get a bit of time to get some games in it before I bring it on the channel, which would be ideal. But um, I know for a fact a lot of you will enjoy it, so uh, don't miss those episodes on Monday, kicking off on Monday. Oh man, I wish it was like quicker as well. The global link takes forever, it's like I'm searching, I'm searching. I, I know I'm not going to find anything, but I'm just going to search a little bit longer. Um, it's like looking for, like, I don't know, if you if you like have a favourite t-shirt or something and you're like, you're searching, like, I don't know. The wash basket for it and you're like you've taken everything out of the wash basket and it's not there but you continue to look there because it might be there even though it's not there and that is like the global link it is it is looking for that favorite t-shirt that it thinks is in the wash basket it's at the bottom of the wash basket there's nothing amongst the clothes on the floor but it's still looking for that t-shirt and it's never going to find it there we go, you see? You see, all you need to do is just go to the next room and try and you find someone. Here we go, we've got our next opponent of the day. Japanese player playing a team of Ludicolo, Incineroar, Amoongus, Xerneas, Ferrothorn and Kyogre. And it is a QR code team, so I should really have a look at the QR code teams that are up on the global link at the minute. It'll probably give us a bit of a heads up, a better heads up um, against the sort of text that they have but we pretty much can guess what the team's going to be it's going to be scarf kyoga we've got the geomancy uh, xerneas you've got the really hard trick room text in amoongus it's got the rage powder support to help the xerneas set up you've got the ferrothorn to combat against the poison and um, kyoga you've got the ludi that helps against the poison kyoga you've got the incineral that just is generally very good in this format anyway and um, i feel like against this sort of team Oh, we need we need Incineroar when I see that double grass core of Amoongus and Ferrothorn. Like my opponent's gonna bring one of those. We need that. We need and it just means dropping some other stuff, but what do we drop? We definitely want Drift Blim. I think we definitely want Lele. Like for the opposing Incineroar, I wanna bring Kyogre. Do we just not bring Evelto? I mean we could bring a Moongus here. We could bring our own Moongus, which isn't a bad shout either. Um, it does work against. It's just we are a bit weak to Ferrothorn if we don't bring Incineroar. I think we have to bring Incineroar. Like Ferrothorn is just one of those Pokemon. I feel like, um, like I feel really obliged to bring Incineroar because we've got like nothing else anywhere else on the team to deal with it. And it's such a problem Pokemon, it's so able just to sit in front of everything that we've got pretty much except the Incineroar and just check out lead seeds, do constant damage and we've got really very little to chip it down with. So we're going to see Xerneas and Incineroar, which isn't ideal but at the same time it's not the worst. Because we can trick room and switch in our Incineroar. will allow us to take at least the knockoff from the opposing Incineroar. 
even though we probably take it anyway like our other option is um, we go Psyshock into Xerneas and we Tailwind but we gotta hope that we take the knockoff I'm pretty sure we do I'm pretty sure we do huh that that means that we need to also outspeed the Xerneas as well and um, we're probably better off switching in our Incineroar or do we? we take two knockoffs no, no, I think I think we side shot. Because we probably get the two hit here on the Xerneas regardless. We stay. Xerneas protects, alright. I mean that's fine because we get the, the taunt onto the next turn. If we want to. And we can switch out for Flim and save for later if we want, but at the same time it might be worth just Yeah, there's a knockoff. Do we take it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we take it. Um, hmm. Then we have to taunt the Xerneas, and I think we have to Acrobatics as well. I mean, we could just double the Xerneas, but it's risky because if it goes if it goes Geomancy this turn, then we're in a lot of trouble. And I'd imagine that's probably the play that they want to do. Maybe Geomancy this turn. No, okay. Barathorn. At least we're stopping it from. Leech Seeding, I guess, but we're going to lose Drift Blame. And this makes our matchup against Xerneas a lot harder because it comes in late game now. And this is the thing, if you're a Xerneas player and you're playing against Lele Blame, it's pretty obvious me saying it, but like, you keep your Xerneas for late game when the Lele Drift Blame is gone because they're, they're, the, they're, the, um, they, they're the good checks to your Xerneas. Right, we'll bring in our own Incineral now. So we can check Ferrothorn for sure. We have to be a bit careful with um, Kyogre coming in on that Incineroar slot. But we can just Moonblast that slot anyway and Tailwind's up. So, um, like Ferrothorn has to protect here. So we could potentially double in on the Incineroar slot with a Law Kick and a Moonblast. And maybe that's enough to take it down. But the Ferrothorn has to protect here. Like, it's just, unless the Kyogre comes in on that Incineroar slot. And like, even then, our Lele is sashed, so we're not worrying too much. And it's taunted as well, the Ferrothorn, so it has to withdraw. That's where we could have picked up on a little bit, so the Kyogre comes in. Well, I mean, that's not too bad if we still, it, like, if we get rid of this Incineroar now with a low kick and the Moonblast. Which I'm not sure if we do, but we may, we may, we may. It depends how... Defensively both get built. Okay. I don't think a lot of it gets it in this range. No. Very. Very, very, very. Very, very. Mm. Knock off. Okay, into Lele. <sighs> I mean, we probably have to go. Huh. It's not going to go for us about, is it? Does Kyogre even stay in here? Because you could just knock off and side shock this slot. Because we'll outspeed it with Lele. It's just whether it goes Origin Pulse or not. If you would imagine it probably does. Yeah. Lele avoids that. <clears throat> Cinema definitely doesn't take that. We kind of had to bank on um, Water Spout coming out here. We'll take this knockoff. Just. And that Tailwind does pick her out. But that is Scarf Kyogre, I would imagine. But we can Water Spout. And protect Lele. But we've got no way to deal with Ferrothorn, which we haven't really thought through very well. Um, so. To protect. And you don't switch Ferrothorn in these situations. I don't. I don't feel like you do. I feel like you keep Ferrothorn fresh and bring it in, um, so it's not taking the water spot damage on the switch. Uh, you just keep. Let's see. Let's see what we do. Let's 
charging pills. If we can tile them, it's just, yeah, that's huge for us. But we'll get the instant oil, but then, like, what do we do against... Uh, we don't even get the Kyogre, because of that chip with the Origin Pulse. I mean, Kyogre probably just wins this out for my opponent, because, like, unless we dodge another Origin Pulse with Lele, like, Xerneas either comes in, sets with Geomancy, which we can't really do too much about, um, or Ferrothorn comes in and just completely walls whatever we've got in the field, and even if Xerneas comes in like it is now. Uh, we've not really got too many options against it either. Like, Xerneas Kyogre is, like, tricky. With, like, the Amoongus and the Ferrothorn as options, it's Psy Shock and Water Spout. I mean, if Origin Pulse misses both, then. We could potentially take down the Xerneas. But no, we're not even going to get a chance of that. <sighs> it doesn't even need to go for the Geomancy. But it does proc our berry. But like at this point, it doesn't even need to. It like really doesn't need to. Because like the Ferrothorn's in the back. You just don't even need to even worry about it. And the next time we probably get the Xerneas, but like there's no way we get like the Ferrothorn at all. Like it's got way too much help. Way too much help. And this is going to be GG. I'm just going to wrap it up. It's a bit disappointing that we're ending the week how we've ended it. But like I say, we're going to get weeks like this. you just got to kind of grit your teeth and just deal with it and look back. Like, and say, well, we definitely could have done better in certain areas. The team probably needs revisiting in certain areas. Uh, but you can't, like, beat yourself up about it too much. Really. Power miss? Nah. Never gonna get it. Never. Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Never get You never get it when it, you wish for it so hard. But we weren't really wishing for it so hard anyway. Good game to my opponent. And that rounds up the week with this team so it's been a roller coaster of a week it's been up and down it's been uh, exciting at times we've had games where like we've had a really good win we've had games where it's been just really tough and um, it's just about like coming through that on the other end looking back and it's going to be really interesting for myself personally looking back at these games and thinking right how can we make this team better? How can we improve on stuff? And uh, where can we make improvements to patch those matches? And how can we lead better against that if we're playing this sort of team? And what performed well? What performed really bad? And all those questions. So that's what I'm looking forward to doing myself. I really hope you've enjoyed just going through these episodes this week with the team. Like I said, the first week was amazing. Like there's no knocking that. The first week was great. Um, but the second week has been probably back to a bit more normality with the team and that's just like one of those things But at the very least I hope you have enjoyed it guys And um, but like I say, we'll be back next week with a brand new team kicking back into action So do stay tuned for that. It will be a lot of fun, but just thank you for tuning in I hope you've enjoyed it leave comments in the comment section below uh, leave a like and all that stuff and I'll see you next week. So until the next episode guys, take care of yourselves and bye bye